Alright, so we all know that Persona 6 is well on its way, with Leaker Midori confirming that this game has been in active development for quite some time. So, it's only a matter of time when this will be officially revealed. In terms of official confirmation, we know absolutely nothing about Persona 6, and I mean nothing other than it's going to be the next mainline Persona game that's coming soon. In terms of leaks, all we know is that this game is possibly releasing mid to late 2025, and not gonna lie, I am fully expecting them to delay this game to 2026, because, think about it, like, there's like literally no official confirmation on this game. Other than, we know, like I said, the game is being worked on, and 2026 will be Persona's 30th anniversary, so I think it'll be like the perfect time for them to release the game. Another thing about Persona 6 we know from Credible Leakers is that the game's color is going to be green, which we already know Persona games always have uh, a theme of their colors, with like Persona 1 being purple, 2 being red and black, and 3 being blue. Persona 4 being yellow, and then Persona 5 being red again. But as for Persona 6, we know it's going to be green. I already knew it was going to be green since day one, because that was like the next logical color they were going to choose after Persona 5. People kept saying, oh, Persona 6 is going to be black and white. No. No, that, no. They wanted to be Persona 5 Imagine Project so bad. But anyway, that's pretty much all we know about Persona 6. We already know about the game's color and about the possible release window for the game. But in terms of everything else, we absolutely know nothing about Persona 6 right now other than, yeah, the game's coming. It's coming. Uh, we gotta wait through, I guess, three more Persona 5 spinoffs before we get Persona 6. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am. Despite me not knowing anything about Persona 6 at all, I can't help but to get excited, of course, because I've been waiting years for the next Persona game after surviving the Persona 5 hell. And, um, yeah, I just wanna say my predictions and wish lists on what Persona 6 could possibly be, because we know nothing about the characters, nothing about the gameplay, nothing about what the music, is gonna be like nothing about how the game will look like but i have no idea what to fully expect from persona 6 other than it's going to be a life sim dungeon crawling turn-based jrpg that's all i expect right now but i'm gonna have some predictions and kind of like a wish list of what i want persona 6 to be so first let's start with the characters so, yeah, we're already starting with characters, a controversial topic on Persona. Um, for Persona 6, most people are like hoping, oh, the characters, I wish the characters will be like aged up, the characters will be like college or whatever. But honestly, I don't care either way. If they take the Persona 2 route of having all the characters be adult, that's, that's fine. I don't really care. If the characters are in high school again, like in Persona 3, 4, and 5, then... It's whatever. It's whatever to me. All I just want is the characters to just be well written with good character development. Because I like why I like Persona's characters, but sometimes like the characters feels like they rely too much on the protagonist. I think the least offender in this is definitely Persona 3, because in Persona 3, if the main character messes up, your party members actually do like call you out for it. Where in Persona 4 and 5, they're always glazing the main character. Always. So I just hope the characters have good character progression because this is going to be a controversial opinion. Uh, Persona 4 and 5, when the characters were done with their arc, it didn't feel like they really changed at all. Because like, for example, we have Morgana in Persona 5, I know this is like an easy target because everyone says this. Uh, Morgana at the beginning of Persona 5, he doesn't change at all at the end of the game. He's still the same character, the same annoying character, he didn't change at all. So. So I just hope Persona 6 takes the Persona 3 route, where, you know how like, in Persona 3, the Personas evolve, like your party members' Personas evolve throughout the story instead of just social links, and the characters evolve with character development. I just hope Persona 6 brings that back, where your Persona evolves from character development in the story. Because in Persona 4 and 5, and especially Persona 4, the social links feel so disconnected from the main story. And the way to get the evolved personas in Persona 4 and 5 was to complete the character's social link. But some people may like that feature for, you know, you complete the social link and then, oh yes, you get the evolved persona, you get the second awakening, and you feel satisfying about it. 
But instead of that, I guess they can just replace it with the third awakening, I guess. Like, throughout the story, you get the second awakening throughout the story, and then when you complete the social link for that character, you get the third awakening. So I think that'll make more sense. But to be honest, I'm like 90% sure they're going to keep the feature of when you complete the party member's social link, they get the second awakening. And if they keep that feature, then it's fine, but I just prefer the way Persona 3 did it with the character getting their second awakening from the story. Now another thing that I hope Persona 6 doesn't have, and this is going to be very controversial because people like these characters, do not have no twist villain. Please, no twist villain like Adachi and Akechi, because at this point, if they're going to do that and make a character like, oh, the goofy, lovable uh, detective known as Amachi, then it'll become predictable at this point. Like, we've been here two times already, so yeah, just, if they're going to do a twist villain again, this time make it less predictable. We're already going to know who it is if they're going to go that route again. As for the protagonist, people hope that the next Persona game they wouldn't have a silent protagonist and I'm gonna be real, I don't care if they have a silent protagonist because I feel like that's kind of the point. The protagonist is supposed to be a self-insert so of course the protagonist is gonna be silent but I just think if they make the protagonist not silent, that's just gonna defeat the whole purpose of a Persona protagonist where they're supposed to be a self-insert. You make the character. But yeah, that's just pretty much all I'm hoping they will do just for Persona 6's characters because, like I said, I don't care if the characters will be adult, if they will be in high school again. I'm just fine either way. As long as it have, like, you know, good characters, good social links, and I'm fine with that. Now, for gameplay. <laughs> yes, Persona 6 gameplay. So... I really want to talk about the battle system first. They can keep the battle system the same, like keep it the way Persona 5 did it. I think Persona 5 peaked the battle system. Persona 3 Reload as well, like those have, I think the battle system is perfect, almost perfect in those. Uh, improvements, I, I can't really think of many improvements they can do for gameplay in Persona 5 and from Persona 5 and 3 Reload because like, like the baton pass, the shift and all that, all that attack. I think they did that almost perfectly. Only thing I can think they can do is add press turns from like, you know, the Shimigami Tensei series, but I, that, that'll just be weird. I don't know how that'll work in Persona. Just press turns with the shift and Padon Pass. That would be kind of broken, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, only things I would change about Persona 6's gameplay for like the battle system, I'd say make the game harder because Persona 5 and Persona 3 Reload, I'm just naming, you know, the most recent Persona games Atlas has made. Those games are so easy. Those games are way too easy compared to, you know, Persona 4. And especially, like, Persona uh, 1 and Persona 3 FES. Even on hard mode, Persona 5 Royale and Persona 3 Reload are so easy, and the only way to actually get like real challenges out of those two games is to play on Merciless mode. And I don't know, in a, in a, Mega, in a Mega 10 game, I don't feel like I should be playing on Merciless mode to have a challenge, because Mega 10 games in general are just, they're, they're hard games, they're supposed to be hard games. So, yeah, I just hope they'll just like raise the difficulty up, uh, do some balance changes and stuff. And another thing I would change about Persona, Persona's gameplay, do not, please do not bring back that mechanic of the main character dying. Some people might be like, oh, skill issue, skill issue. But the reason why I'm saying that is because Shin Megami Tensei 4, a 3DS game, got rid of that mechanic. Like, if your main character dies, you still have your demons, so you're like, there's no game over. And for some odd reason, Shin Megami Tensei 5 brought back that feature. So it's like, they're, they're, they're going backwards. I just feel like Persona 6 shouldn't... It, it makes no sense for Persona to have a feature where if the main character dies, it's game over. Because you have other party members that can literally just revive you right there. So, I, I just... If Persona 6 does bring back the game over from the main character dying, then... I mean, it is what it is, but I just hope they remove that mechanic. As for dungeon crawling... I think the way Persona 5 did dungeon crawling was pretty good. The way you had to do like stealth and all that, it was just palaces. There was no like randomized rooms like Tartarus and the TV world in Persona 4. 
I think that did it pretty well. Uh, so I'd just say just keep that kind of level design and just add some new stuff to it for Persona 6 dungeon crawling. Or, hear me out, they can do something like Yakuza Like a Dragon and just have, you know, an open road where you can explore. Just have like an open dungeon crawling uh, road you can explore or wh whatever road they're going to go into in, per in Persona 6, whatever supernatural thing they're going in through. But, yeah. I wouldn't be too surprised if Persona 6 goes open world or whatever because a lot of games now are just going open world just because why not and if Persona 6 goes that route it would be cool to have like more open areas for you to explore kind of like Shin Megami Tensei 5 that's a good example even though people do not like that game just have it like Shin Megami Tensei 5 where you just have like the random demons going around and you just like run up to them and then you ambush them that would be cool and as for like demons and all that, um, I think Persona 5 did a cool job of just keeping the Shin Megami Tensei demons and recruiting them instead of like in Persona 3 and 4 with their own like weird shadows. So I think they should keep like the demons from Shin Megami Tensei and then you negotiate with them and recruit them and stuff. And another thing about Persona 6 is dungeon crawling. I hope there's more traversal options like you can drive a car kind of like you know Morgana and then you can use like a grappling hook and you can like swing like you're, you're in Spider-Man or some crap. You, you can do like platforming and stuff. Like just more traver just have more traversal options than just running around, hit demon, uh, get an advantage there. Just more, yeah, like I said, just more traversal options. That'll be cool just to spice up the gameplay for Persona 6's dungeon crawling and it wouldn't get too boring too. And I feel like P5 already did a good job at this with like stealth options and, and the grappling hook. But now that Persona 6 is going to have a more open space and open areas, I feel like there should be more traversal options. Because we all know Persona games have pretty linear dungeon crawling because all you're just doing is, like I said, you're just running around defeating shadows and stuff, or you're just solving puzzles. But for all we know, Persona 6 could just take the linear style of like Tartarus or the TV world and just leave it at that, or they can just do the palaces like Persona 5, or even, oh no, no, even worse, they can do mementos, but... Yeah, but like I said, I just hope Persona 6 spices it up a bit with their dungeon crawling, just have more open areas, more traversal options, blah blah blah, yeah, all that. But other than that, I can't really say much I want changed about Persona's gameplay, because Persona's gameplay is already pretty good, and I can't really think of much they can change after all this. But yeah, Atlas is going to surprise us, they're cooking right now. Now for the game story, this is going to be short because... I have absolutely no idea what to expect from Persona 6's story because, like I said, we know absolutely nothing about this game officially, even from leaks. Nothing have actually explained what the story or themes of this game is going to be, but I just might have a slight idea on what the game's theme might be, judging from the color. So as we know, Persona 3's color is blue. It represents sadness, death, water, all that. All right, and then for yellow for Persona 4, it represents happiness, truth. Yes, we know this. And then for Persona 5, it's red, which is rebellion, anger. And now for Persona 6, it's green. The color green is mostly associated with Envy, so the game's theme might be jealousy or envy. That's what I'm going to assume Persona 6's main theme is going to be about. Jealousy to envy. And if it's not, I'm going to be surprised because I don't know what else they can do for that. But for now, all we can do is just wait and see what Atlas is cooking. Either way, if, my, if all my predictions are wrong, you all know Persona 6 is going to be a good game, it's gonna be goaded, it's gonna be such a good game because Atlas always delivers with these games. But anyway, yeah, that's just pretty much all I have to say about my thoughts or like wishes, wish list for what I think, or like predictions, what I think for Persona 6 is going to be. But um, yeah, sorry if it sounds like I was like stuttering and rambling throughout this whole entire video because this video is completely unscripted. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment on what you guys think Persona 6 is going to be like. Uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, if you disagree with me, you can also leave a comment telling me how stupid I am. And yeah, 
I will see you guys later. Look out for more Persona content, Drag Ball content, Sonic content, all that. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.